of the Belly Dance Quickies. So today we're going to be doing a combination. I'd say this is probably a beginner combination. If you add Zills, then definitely an intermediate level combination. Uh, this is in American Cabaret style, so it has a lot of footwork, it's loose, it's fun, and would be nice for an upbeat part of an entrance. So this will be traveling with some basic Egyptians. Now, um, for camera purposes, I'm going to keep mine fairly in place, but you can definitely travel much more with these. So we're going to start out here, and we have four basic Egyptians, and we're going to take our arms up and out. So step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Back, front, out with a figure eight, and back in again. So nice and loose and nice and big. These steps going back and forward are half time of the basic Egyptians, but they have a little bounce in between. So back, bounce, front, bounce, out, sink, in, sink, like that. So for the next part, your right foot is free. We're going to repeat those basic Egyptians. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. We're going to have a three-step turn that is slow with sweep arm. Step. Step, step, lean, shoulder shimmy. We're going to be using some grapevine steps, and this is going to become center. We're going to go out to one side and come back, and out to the other side and come back. Now, just to continue, you kind of get oriented, once we go out this way, we're going to be facing in towards center. When we come back this way, we'll have our back towards the center. Then we'll go to the other side, and we'll be diagonally in towards center, and then we'll come back here with our back towards center again. So that can, you know, if you have a little bit of an idea of where we're headed and where you're going to be facing, that can help make this one a little bit easier. So we just came, uh, we were landing here. We finished our turn, and we were down here with the shoulder shimmy. So we're going to do an out-stepping lead grapevine. So we have one, two, three, Four, take the fourth step. You're going to go forward with the shoulder shimmy, back with the shoulder shimmy. Now you're going to take a cross lead grapevine step. One, two, three, four, and land in a drop kick position. But we're going to do a hip drop. So we're going to go drop, 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 clap. Now if you have zills on, you're going to clap your zills together. Otherwise, you can just clap your hands. Now we're going to continue going that way. So as you take this, maybe look over your shoulders, a little cue for where you're going next. So arms are going to come back in. One, two, three, four. Step, shoulder shimmy, step, shoulder shimmy, step. Two, three, and drop, 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 drop. Okay, so let's roll through that all the way from the beginning. So ready on the right foot, and Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, back, front, out, in. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, turn, two, three, shoulders. Out, two, three, four, step, shoulders, step, shoulders, one, two, three, and drop, 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 out, two, Three, four, step, shoulders, step, shoulders, one, two, three, four, drop, drop, drop. And now with some music. Ready on the right? Lots of options for rhythms and if you are a more experienced finger cymbal player then you can also you know create some variations on the end of the phrases and things that highlight the melody of the music that you're using. 
If you're a dancer who's comfortable playing standard rhythms, but not really sure how to make some variations to match melodies or to accent things that are rhythmic accents or to create some things to help tie into your movement, then I do offer online private lessons and we can maybe work on something like that to give some more variety rather than playing a straight up rhythm or triplets. So if you're interested in something like that, just go ahead and drop me a line anywhere on my website, uh, through YouTube, and anywhere on social media. So that's what I have for you this week. And like I said, right now I am in Florida as you're watching this, and I'm planning the summer's tours. I will be on the East Coast, looking like I'm going to be in there in June this year instead of in August. So if you are in, on an East Coast city and you're looking to perhaps sponsor a workshop, go ahead and get in touch with me. And I'll also be doing a tour through California this summer as well. So that's what I have for you today. You guys have a wonderful practice. Have a good week. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.